all right good day to everyone watching me now online as we have been doing so we will continue our topic on water solution and solubility excuse me and you should know that if you have not subscribed just go, go down and press the subscription button if you have any question drop it in the comment box I will always attend to you and together we shall make something out of your knowledge in chemistry. Let's move on. Now, this makes water a polar solvent. Water is a polar solvent. Let us now see types of solution. A cure solution. This is when solutes are dissolved in a solvent. Some common solutions, so solutes and solvents, are as this. Look at this. This is brine. Brine is concentrated sodium hydroxide. This is sodium. This is chlorine. They are inside brine. And the solvent is water. Look at antifreeze. And antifreeze is alkanol. Alkanol contains carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. And the solvent is water. Look at soda water. Soda water contains carbon for oxide, carbon and oxygen. And the solvent is also water. Look at brass, that is copper. And the solvent is zinc. The solvent is copper. Look at oxygen. The solvent is nitrogen. So these are solutions, solutes, and different solvents that we have. Now let us say this. Common uses of solvent. Water, being a universal solvent, serves as a very suitable medium for most chemical reactions. Are you there? Yes. Topentine is used to mix waterproof paint for painting walls. Common uses of solvent continue. Iodine solution for dressing wounds is by dissolving the solid iodine in ethanol so this is the solute iodine solid and ethanol is the solvent the focanizer solution is by dissolving rubber and certain other substances in benzene now chlorophyll that is the green pigment in leaf is extracted by boiling the leaf in ethanol that extraction is a very good one to carry out. Now, let us see suspension. Suspension. This is heterogeneous mixture of undissolved particles in a given medium. Let's go on. These particles are large enough to be seen without the aid of an instrument. And they eventually settle down and left standing. If they are left standing, they get settled. Now, solubility. Hey, wonderful. Just go to the comment button. Ask your questions. Then, we'll come back on another video to do solubility. Thank you.